when I decided to come to New York, I was young, so I never think it's going to be very hard. My sister sent me money because we have to find a um, coyote, a person who crossed the border. And that time, they charged like $12,000 to pass. First time when I came uh, to this country, I traveled from my country, Guayaquil, to La Habana because they uh, get visa for us, so it was all fake. But uh, they, they said, you want to be a tourist over there, so you want to go to La Habana, after La Habana you go to Mexico, and then Mexico you have to use a bus or train or whatever, to Matamoros. I don't know what happened in La Habana. They know we are trying to pass to USA. They said, you know what, you can't pass to, uh, to Mexico because you're trying to go to USA. So immigration, they sent me back to Ecuador. The second time, I just traveled from Guayaquil to Mexico City. $1,500 I have to give to the other contacts over there in Mexico. So I, we gave the money. The next day, we went to, to take a bus to go to Matamoros. The immigration catch us again, and they said, you know what, you guys trying to go to, to USA, so you have to stay here and call your uh, family and tell them to just give like $100 for them and they just free us. Me and a friend of mine, we decided to find somebody else to cross from Mexico to uh, USA. Just we escaped from those uh, immigrations. Guys, we catch uh, other people. We talked with them and they said, oh, you want to go to USA? Okay, so they take us to far away house and they just keep us inside. And they said, when you family send the money, like you are free. We have to stay in that house like for seven days to waiting for the money. We were like a month in Mexico when the Coyote has the money, they buy a ticket on the bus, so we take the bus to Frontier. So it was like two days when we were there, so we have to just go to the river, Rio Grande. But when we are over there, we cross a night. And we take only water and some food. We cross the river at night, and we walk all night. The next day, we finished the waters. It was hot in that moment. Finally, we find the river. We uh, took the water there. They said, now we have to wait over here because a bank is going to come to pick up, but uh, never come. We have to waiting and waiting and waiting, hungry, no water, no food, and nothing. And then the immigration catches. us. I was in, in Texas okay. when they catch me again. So they asked us, where are you from? So I told myself, if I said from Mexico, they're going to send me to Mexico and then I can try again. Very easy. So they sent to Mexico. I went to Mexico and when I was in Mexico, they said, they go to USA again because we didn't catch you. When I back to USA, they put me in the jail. I was in the jail for one month, I uh, finally contacted my family in New York. They pay $5,000 to free the prison. So they let me free in California. So I took the bus. It was like three days from California to New York. All them that travel and everything, I, I spent $19,000. When I was here in this country, I was I had to pay that such money, and I'm I'm starting to work. Like it was very 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 um, first moment I miss my mom, my daddy, and really I said, wow, what I'm doing here? Why? Because it was summer. I'm starting to work. I didn't have money. I have to walk to the home because I didn't have for the bus, for the train. Hungry, like I was suffering like six months. And after that, and I was like afraid to talk because uh, I never learned English in my life. It was everything new for me. 